There's goddamn coronavirus bullshit. This is literally destroying our lives. So, based on the information that I've gathered up about this coronavirus, I'm pretty sure most of this you guys already know, but I'm still gonna give it to you. Hopefully, there was something that you guys didn't know, and then I, and I can actually, you know, just educate y'all. COVID-19, aka coronavirus, but what does COVID-19 actually stand for? CO stands for corona, V stands for virus, D stands for disease, and 19 refers to the 2019 no novel, no novel, no novel, no coronavirus. What is it? It's a disease that was discovered in Wuhan, China, and now it's being spread throughout the entire world. It's an illness that's caused by, by spreading from one person to another. The symptoms of this virus, which is something that we already have, which is like a fever, cough, shortness of breath, chills, that kind of thing. But according to like the CDC, there's been update symptoms to the virus, which are new loss of taste or smell, muscle pain, runny nose, nausea, and vomiting. This virus it has infected 4.6 million confirmed cases worldwide and counting, and it has killed 608,000 people and counting worldwide. More than 70 countries has been affected by this deadly virus. What are the things that you should and should not do? There are some things that, are, that we all know about this virus and some things your parents tell you, some things that, you, the, the, that everyone tells you and some of them are true, some of them are not true. I'm just gonna tell you guys what it is that's true and not true and what you should do and not do during this pandemic. Warm weather will not stop the spread of this virus. Young people do get the virus. That older people are prone to get this virus, but just it just depends on their pre-existing uh, medical conditions already. But we're not like we're not immune to any to this. Just because you don't have the common symptoms of the coronavirus, it does not mean that you will not get infected. People say that you're supposed to stay home and all that, but you are still allowed to go outside. Like if you have a garden that you gotta like water the plants, or you want to go for a run, walk your dog, that's that's fine. You can still do that. It's not it's not like you can never leave the house ever again. Now that's you, you would go crazy if you just stay inside the house the entire like however long this virus will take. To, to stop you know it will you will go insane do not avoid the hospital yes there are a lot of people there because of the virus and and and, and, and other for other reasons but it's not super dangerous to get there like you to go there if you need help you are injured you got in a car accident you you're, you're you're sick or anything like that go to the hospital do not avoid it at all do not Okay, I read it. I, I came across this one thing and it's kind of bizarre what people would do. I recently found out that some people are would be taking disinfectants, not on the surface of the, the, their body, but like to consume. And they think that consuming that would prevent them from getting the virus. No, no, holy sh no, do not do that. You will, if you will hurt yourself, holy crap, just don't do it, okay? Do not drink bleach, okay? Don't shower yourself in bleach. Do not like clean yourself just to prevent the virus. It does not, it won't work. It will just cause irritation to your skin. It will just damage your skin. If you try to consume certain disinfectants just so you can like, like stay clear or stay immune to the virus, that, it doesn't work that way. And of course, what you guys already know is that to, to stop the spread of this virus you should like always do social distancing if you're sick stay home wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and most importantly don't forget about this just wear a mask it's not that hard guys like some people refuse to wear a mask <coughs> Karen but don't not use it trust me, it helps a lot it's a little hard to breathe but it helps always wear a mask when you go out please it will stop the spread of the virus. You you protect yourself and you protect others from yourself. Some of you may be wondering why I stopped vlogging for about, well, a while now. The reason why is because during this quarantine, there's nothing to do. Like, you couldn't go to the restaurants. All the activity centers were closed, the museums were closed, all these like movie theaters were closed, everything was closed. But now that we have entered phase two, everything's starting to open up again. I just stopped because there's nothing that was 
They can be content worthy. So what have I been doing? Just work. I was working at, the, at my school until like the June 30th, and now I'm just doing um, delivery jobs such as Uber Eats and DoorDash. Well, I've been doing Uber Eats and DoorDash. There's some pros and cons to it. The good things about it is that uh, you're your own boss. You can work at any time you want. Like literally, if you're up by three in the morning and you get, you have nothing to do, you're bored out of your mind, you want to go make money, you can go for you can go work for DoorDash slash Uber Eats. And what's open during three in the morning? Do you do that time? Well, McDonald's. But here's the thing about uh, about the about these delivery food delivery jobs. If you get a, an order, you get money. If you don't get an order, you don't get any money at all. So and they don't reimburse you on your on your on your mileage or or, or, or gas. They don't pay for that stuff. But I started off with DoorDash. And DoorDash was, it was really good, but I stopped working with them because towards phase two, everything just died. Here's the thing about the DoorDash app, right? You first log in and you choose which area you're in. And then they give you multiple areas so you can work around it. So for example, I'm in, I'm in Rockville area. I could either work in the Rockville area, Gettysburg, Wheaton, uh, Silver Spring, and even DC. The main thing I love about DoorDash is that each order you get, Lot, lots of money. It depends on which, what time you work at. So there's a peak hours. So you work from like, if you work during lunchtime, it's from like, what, like 12 p.m. or 11 a.m. all the way to 2 or 3 p.m. Which is dinner time from 4 or 5 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m. And you make like two times money. Each order could be like $8, $10, even $15 for that matter. DoorDash makes more money than Uber Eats but slow orders. Uber Eats, you can work at any time you want. There is no scheduled time compared to DoorDash. There's, there are also peak hours for Uber Eats too. Same thing with DoorDash, but the orders aren't that much compared to DoorDash. Uber Eats, you get orders at the order, but the price wise is lower than DoorDash. DoorDash, it shows you like by colors. For example, like if I'm in the Rock area, Gaithersburg and um, Silver Spring is super busy. It literally says very busy. If it's super, super busy, it's red hot. It can tell you how much more money you can make on each delivery. Let's say each delivery by default could be like $5, $8. And, if, and on the map, if it says to plus two dollars fifty cents or plus three dollars, you can add, you can get three extra dollars or two fifty dollars, two fifty extra dollars on on top of that order that, that you're making. Uber Eats sometimes they have that too, but they don't show you the color. There's no color at all, <laughs> nothing at all. There's just like a, a blue outline on, on like certain areas that you're in. It doesn't necessarily tell you like which area is super hot. If DoorDash was still good, like they still accept they'll have a lot of orders going on before phase two even uh, happen. I will still be with DoorDash. I came out here to vlog this, to have some peace and quiet so there's no distractions. And I chose this one spot that no one goes to. Well, this one specific spot in Lake Needwood that no one goes to. But there are these construction workers and they're just, their truck is making a, a bunch of noises. They're literally right there. Since I'm going back to vlogging again, and I wanna know what you guys want to see in my videos but speaking of suggestions remember that vlog that i made oh uh, my friend cat this vlog right here so i am so pissed off right now why so the truck almost hit me what the and i hit the brakes really hard and my my camera flew to the ground all both cameras oh no and now i have a crack on my screen <gasps> oh no I'm not sure if this is the crack of my, my screen protector or the actual screen, but I'm if it's on my actual screen, then that's... I'm gonna have to get that fixed somehow. Oh no! It's pretty bad. Like, hold then on. Then you should seatbelt your cameras in. <laughs> well, lesson learned. Here's a photo right here. So yeah, that I still haven't gotten my camera fixed there. It's still cracked. And I if anything, I think it's much worse this time. So I actually wanted to make this vlog earlier and ask you guys if you guys knew anybody that can actually get this done, like get this fixed with, with me without sending it to the Canon factory. Because if I send it there, it takes about a week and it usually costs a lot more money. But which is weird because I've contacted them about at least 15 times and they always tell me the different price. So I don't know what that's all about. If you guys know somebody who can actually fix this, because my, it just cracked. Like everything's still touch. Like I can still focus. Like if I can, I can focus on the background, make myself blurry, and I can focus myself right there. See, the touchscreen still works. I just can't. It's just cracked. Like 
Am I f my screen's flipped out this way right now. The left corner, the left corner of the screen, there's, it shows you how many minutes you can record, right? How many minutes you've been recording for this clip. I can barely see it, that's the problem. But yeah, I was actually trying to get this done before the 22nd because I'm going to San Jose, but clearly that's not happening because I'm going to, tomorrow's the 22nd. So I have to go like this, which is so, it still works fine. I just, it just bothers me. I need to finish packing by tonight. I'm heading to San Jose. Since I can't go anywhere outside of the US this year, I mean, technically I can, but then when you come back, you have to quarantine yourself for 14 days. I'm not trying to do that. So therefore, me and my family are gonna travel within the US. So we went to San Jose for about nine days, and then we're gonna come back at the end of this month. Well, second to last day of the, the, the end of this month. But hopefully, hopefully by next year, everything will be back to normal. Next year, the plan is to go to, uh, um, go to uh, Dominican Republic because the first time I went there, my dad got into a, an accident with his toe, so he so the doctors didn't allow him to go into the ocean, and there's that's no way of not to ex have to, f to feel the full experience of another country. So we're going back for him, and I kind of miss that place. So, yeah. Meet my dog, guys. His name is Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. His name is Finnegan. Sir Finnegan. <laughs> well yeah, that's been happy in my life so far up to this very day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoy, enjoy this vlog. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, alright? Good night guys. <laughs> he just walked off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that went down the wrong pipe.